Well, hello, and a very warm welcome back to the TNC podcast. It is the summer, it's a break, so we don't have to talk about Norwich City losing. Instead, we can have some fun alongside uh, the East Anglian boy, Leon Mallet. Good to see you. <laughs> hello, boys. How are you? Now, I was talking well. to you um, off, off camera, Leon. I was going, good to have you back on the show. Rah, rah, rah. You've never been on. I know, I can't believe Which it. Is, I mean, you've been on the channel before. Yeah. We've seen you. He was a fan cam legend. He's an OG of TNC. Oh, that was a long time that ago. That was a very well. long time. <laughs> Lots has happened since. Yeah. Um, people may or may not know that you're a Norwich fan. I assume they do. Um, Come on. One they would should hope. do. But it's been a crazy few weeks yeah, slash um, yeah. month for you. Really crazy. Talk us um, through it. Well, where do you want me to start? Well, let's go from... I, I, <laughs> I assume that everyone is seeing East Anglian Boy. If yeah. they haven't, shame on you. Yeah. Um, Probably because how much you've been sharing it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, <I> Bourgeois hate... <laughs> tea! <laughs> <laughs> so glad you're wearing that, by the way. Yeah, um, done. I, I, saw, I, I was saying on the last podcast, I saw the live recording of you at the, was it a fate or a charity? Yeah, event? charity event. At and I was like, well, this is good. Leon's doing well for himself. <laughs> and then everyone's like, the video's out and it just blew up from there. Yeah, so I, I did not plan to do it at that event. Um, and uh, I sort of, I've had it recorded for a while. Um, sort of had it in the archives on my phone. And um, I knew I was gonna have to do like a little 10 minute set with my brother and my nan was like, do that East Anglian boy <laughs> one. Do and I was like, no, I can't do it. Like, I was just so, I just thought it was going to be so embarrassing. She's like, go on, just bloody do it. She's going. I was like, all right, I'll do it. So I said down the mic before, I was like, listen, this was not my choice to do this song. It's something I wrote for a laugh. Um, I'm just going to do it and see what happens. So I started doing it. And then as I was getting into it, I noticed more and more phones start coming out mm. and recording and people really laughing as I was doing it. And I thought, hello, I actually could be on at something here. And uh, it was uh, like a family, uh, sort of extended family was filming it. And um, yeah, that was the one that just went, yeah. just exploded. Because at that point, people wouldn't have known the lyrics either. So they're, no, they're, yes. just, they're just, you know. They were just, like, because like, obviously the things I mentioned in the song was quite relatable. Yeah, yeah. Like. So I think they were just laughing as I went through each line. Yeah. And then, yeah, sort of the day went on and a lot of people come up to me and like, you know, before I sang that one, I was sort of pouring my heart out in these songs I was singing and that and nobody really give a toss and then I'd done that one and everyone was like that one you've done about Norfolk was brilliant I was like unbelievable so um, yeah got home um, and it was on like well over 100,000 and then before the end of the night it was like really climbing the hundreds yeah. of thousands. I woke up the next day and it was like nearly a million. Wow. So I was amazing. like... It's music, funny, isn't it? Because, yeah. you know, we, we've we've known each other for a long while and, and your music career has been successful up until this point, mm. at, like X Factor and, and such. And, and this is the thing that's really yeah. set you off to the Norfolk market and beyond. This Who needs X Factor? Exactly. Who needs it when you've got the... East Anglian boy <laughs> I, I, I don't know about you, Chris, but I do keep finding myself like, sort of pottering around the house and going, oh, no, no, what a palaver. Yes, <laughs> well, That's the line that's stuck in my head. That line. Yeah. Well, well I've, been, I've been saying to, to my good lady, uh, all right, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get chips and star. Yeah, yeah. The, um, the, I'm, as, as I say, I'm sure everyone's seen the video. My favourite bit was on the chip stall. I just I was trying to get it, get my head around you going up to some bloke and going, can you just can you was he fine with it? That's but... exactly how it happened. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, of course, mate, whatever. So um yeah, so I, I we was trying to find uh, a chip a chip stall um, because I say what I say I was twenty p short, but he said you're right. <laughs> so I was looking for so a man because all of the chippies were all run by women. Okay. But I already said, but he said you're right. So it needed to be a man. Right. So. I eventually found one with a man and I was like, I saw him and I thought, that's him. He's the one. He's the one. Like, that's the man. Yeah. So I was, but then I got there and I, was, I, I felt like, I just feel like such an idiot going to ask him to do this. <laughs> like, I thought, well, I'm going to have to buy a sausage and chips now as well. Yeah. I'm not even really that hungry, but I'll give it to the seagulls. Yeah. Like, they need it. Um, but I bottled it. My brother went, I'll do it. I'll go ask him. Because oh. I wasn't going to do it. I was like, oh, I just... Right. And he was like, no, you got to. Like, come yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. So he went over and he didn't want to do it at first. Mm. And then he said to the girl working, like, go on, she'll do it. And I said, it's got to be a man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not being sexy. <laughs> I've already said he said, you're all right. So, yeah. And we was like, go on, please. Like, I think if you're in it, it could be the difference to make it really big. <laughs> um, and yeah, he just said, go on. I bet he's it. buzzing now. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Went, my brother went to see him. Oh, Hadn't really? Him yet, but he said, yeah, I've had Taylor Swift on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the most pleasing thing about all of this, Chris, is when, when I'm the mayor of Yarmouth in a few years, yeah. Leon's going to sit on the Yarmouth tourist board for me. <laughs> we are, he is doing sterling work to promote our great town. I was going to say, Leon is now second place behind you in terms of his ambassadorial duty for, for Yarmouth. <laughs> I wasn't best pleased with some of the lines. Is your mic going? Oh, I don't know. Um, I wasn't best pleased, Leon, with some of your Yamo promo in there, but no, look, it's brilliant. And of course, he was wearing the Borja signs tee. Mm. Borja actually messaged with mm. a fire emoji when he saw it, and he was like, "That's my man." So yeah, Borja's those? buzzing that. And of course, you're a lower Barkley boy, aren't you, Leon? Yes, I am. You're a legit Norwich fan that actually goes to games. I am. Yeah. So if anyone comes up to you, have you got your season ticket for next season? Yes. You're going to well, be busy. You're going to be mobs. I mean, I say I have. I'm, how it works is basically I don't really have a season ticket. I share it with someone. Oh, so yeah, that's a classic. But he doesn't really go that much. Oh, so right. I go oh, all wow. the time. Basically. I use his. Oh. But if not, I go to every game. All right, my darling. Yeah. I well, just... and also there was another... Lo- I know you were in the latest music video. You must have sort of run out of, de- of decent talent. Um, there was another <laughs> Lower Barkley boy in your in your latest video. Onel Hernandez. Yes. yes. What a top man. And how was Onel when you arranged it with him? Was he buzzing? How was it? Yeah, he was yeah. all over it. What was he saying? Slapping the canary tattoo yeah. and everything. I said, there. get that fucking thing out. <laughs> and he get did it. Out, give it some passion. Yeah, you know I mean? and he was just... And he just I did was it all over it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I couldn't believe how buzzing he was. I that, think he like, is the Norwich player that you would want in your music yeah. video. He's like, got everything, isn't he? It, literally. And it just... He just like, what, the, when we'd done the bit with the newspaper and he like looked above. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. when I saw him do that, I thought, he's sending this. Like, <laughs> he was not holding back. Like, because he's walking along and he's like... Eh. <laughs> when he done that, I was like, oh my God, he's actually really going Mate, for he it. he was loving it, right? Because yeah. the other thing is, he, so I, I didn't tell him that I was in it. And so when it came out, he was, he was on the buzzer. Like he was waiting for it to yeah. come out. Well, I, I didn't in. know you were in so, it. O'Neill was, bu- no, I don't tell you everything. I didn't want you, you know, <laughs> I wanted to remind you of my sort of status, Jack. <laughs> anyway, O'Neill was ready to watch it as soon as it came out. Really? And he messaged me, it was a picture of him watching it on his sister's phone. And, his, and he was like, ha 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 ha, mate, you are a legend in this or something <laughs> like that. So he's a, he was obviously a big fan. Yeah. So Can we go. expect more East Anglian boy music? Certainly. Yeah. Give yeah. exclusive. I mean, I've um, I put out the feelers after the first few, and I said, like, does anyone want to hear more of this sort of thing? And yeah. I was absolutely overwhelmed with the response from the people of Norfolk. <laughs> so, uh, what? Well, how could I not? Yeah. Come up with more good. So I've got, I've got an album. I've got an album on its way. Oh my Have you? Goodness. What's the name of it? Can you say it yet or not? I don't know. If, uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to. I'll go on. I'll, dro- I'll drop it. Come Exclusive. On. Yeah, come Exclusive. On. Go on then. So the album is going to be called Now That's What I Call Norfolk. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so good. <laughs> Mate, that's so good. So yeah. is it just going to be Norfolk banger after banger? Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to aim for between eight and ten. Surely the football club needs to get on that and play that over the Tannoy pre-match. That's what I'm thinking. So speaking of the people, Leon, mm-hmm. um, the people have also spoken. I'm not, I'm not sure if you've seen this. So we put out our usual questions post, which we'll get to your questions later on in the show. Um, I put out an extra one this week because obviously we were bringing out the, the big guns in, in, in yourself. Right. And I said, who wants Leon to sing East Anglian Boy on the TNC podcast? <laughs> no, we've not asked him permission to run this poll, but hope it piles on enough peer pressure. There was two options. All right, my darling, which was yes, please. And oh no, what a palaver, which is no. 28% of the people said, oh no, what a palaver. They didn't want it. 72% said yes. I I think this is, just going forward, I think this is a good way of reviewing matches. If it was good, that was all right, my darling. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Oh no, what a palaver. Maybe we can pick that up into next season. Um, Anyway, um, Leon, the people have spoken. I think we should have an acoustic version. We'll bubble up. Acoustic? We'll, 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 well, well, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, oh, sorry, that's what I think. <laughs> I was so you're going to get your guitar <laughs> out. <laughs> I, can't play. I wish I could. Can you play? A little bit. Not, not, not much. I should have asked you to bring your guitar yeah. along. <laughs> right, anyway, come on then. Let's have it. Well, I don't know where to go from. I think do the... Just do like... A, give us a little the, tease. And then like we can do a, a bit at the end as well. The, okay. She said, All right, my darling, let's get food, I'm starving. I don't mind a web of spoons, her TGI's is nice. Quite pricey. Likes the way I'm speaking, <laughs> quite the accent, quite feeling. She didn't like my brand new trousers fresh from Primark near St. Stephen's. 
I didn't bloody like designer clothes, Ooh. but the shoes I'm wearing were half price from Jonathan, Jonathan Trumbo's. That's my favourite line. Oh no, what a palaver. In the bell and a spilt palaver. <laughs> I'll be your East <laughs> Anglian <laughs> boy. East Anglian Fucking boy. That, I'd, I'd forgotten, that's my favourite line. The what a palaver. Designer shoes. Oh, oh, uh, Jonathan Trombone. Jonathan Trombone. Trombone. Yeah. I tell you what. Oh, Trombone. <laughs> what, you tell you're not an Norwich boy. <laughs> Trombles. I tell you what. I walked past it the other day. You bloody need half price. Some of the suits mm. in there. Oh, yeah. Mm. Jesus. Quite, it's quite, quite, quite pricey. pricey. <laughs> quite pricey. Anyway, um, Wait, football. Anyway, that's enough promo for Leon. Mm. Fixtures are out. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. The fixtures are out. Yeah. In an, uh, you've seen. Well, we, we've both seen them. Yes. First game of the season, Leon. Oxford United away from home. Ooh. That's quite an exciting one. Well, you are side. you going to be there? Are we going to be the only two yellow sides in the league then? Ooh. Oh, no, Watford. Yeah. Oh, no, but they don't... Right, I've always said this right. I've got the... Oh, oh, yeah. You've started <laughs> oh. something. <laughs> I think Watford... How are you getting angry on a pre-season I think, I think, <laughs> what, I think Watford <laughs> have got the worst branding issue in the Championship. Because what are they? <laughs> they're, they're, they're the... Are they the Orns? Yeah. They're the goal. We were there, and they start saying, "Oh, welcome to the Golden Boys." But then they play in yellow. But then it's like a luminous yellow, or it's like it, it sorts it out. They're confused. They're very confused. Mm. Well, we were talking about Oxford, anyway, and we've Oxford. now offended all of the Watford oh, yeah. fans. Um, Oxford, Blackburn, Sheffield United, Coventry City. That's actually a, God, that's a good start, isn't it? Is it? How many points? Nine. How many games was there? Four. Oh, not nine then. From from or in August, Oxford away, Blackburn at home, Sheffield United at home, Coventry City away. No, that's quite a tough little stretch. That six, take six. Who are we losing to? Chef at home. Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, to be fair, I'll take a point with you. No, not at home. Really? Uh, I, mate, next, I'm not taking a point at home to anyone. Yeah. Ever. Okay, Ever. well, let's see what... I can tell you've been watching this shit show over the yeah, summer. It's brought me down. That. just brought me down. It really has. Shocking, that is. Um, what do you think of the opening fixtures? I, I, I'm i really excited about the potential of Oxford away. Yeah. Never been there. Should we go? We should. Right, um, see you there. The only concern is newly promoted side going to be bouncing. Mm-hmm. They're at home. Banana oh, skin. Oh, my God. Um, Black... You... Could, be a, could be a Plymouth. <sighs> yeah, oh, could be. <sighs> Blackburn uh, at home. We'll win that. Sheffield United. But Oxford haven't got Josh Murphy anymore. No, I know. Why are you so negative? They're going to be bouncing, aren't Mate, they? we've got JHT at the helm. The Danish, <laughs> aboard the Danish destroyer. Um, just listen and then you can have your go. Um, Sheffield United at home, we'll draw that and then we'll draw to Coventry. So I'm going for five points God, from the opening so four games. Negative. What about you? I can tell you you've been watching Southgate ball. <laughs> God, we haven't no, I think gone I, to I want 12 points. 12? We're going to run our opening four. Yeah. I mean, I'll absolutely take it. Are you, um, what have you made of Johannes Hoff for it so far, Leon? Are um, you excited about the potential? Yeah, because I think he's definitely going to be more attacking than... What, what Were you one Wagner. of these that were really down on, on Wagner? Not really. Season? No? Not not overly. Um, I do think it was the right time to let him go. Mm. Um, but even when he was sort of having his head called for, mm. like I think, it, what was the game where we were? I think was it Watford at home? Was that the sub, the the, uh, dread, where, the dreaded yeah, really, substitution, yeah. the sergeant sub? And I didn't. I was really sort of unsure as to why he got so much stick at that mm. point because I thought, well, there's obviously a reason he's doing, and there was a reason it turned out. Yes, the sergeant was injured. Wasn't yes, he? and um, you thought it was a palaver. It, yeah, I thought what palaver? <laughs> no, but yeah, when and we went on to win the game anyway. Mm. So yeah. I thought, yeah, I thought sometimes, I mean, yeah, I understand the frustration for people with it, but mm. yeah, especially at the end of the season, I think it was right time. But overall, you're excited about JHT? Yeah. That's, you're up for it? We, we always seem to pluck these little diamonds out of the air, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Out of kind of Sergeant, Sarah, Gun, who's the other? Roe. Who do you think is going to be most important in terms of keeping next season? Sergeant. Yeah? Mm. Big fan. Just because of, yeah, I am, and I think he's such a... There's not many of his style mm. forwards. Like, mm, yeah. like I feel like he's one of a very few in all of like the top leagues. Um, like I f- the way I look at it, if Ivan Tony was to leave mm. Brentford, I could see him slotting mm. straight in there. God, don't Do you know don't, what I mean? Don't give them ideas. I know, but don't give them but, I, but I think boys, that's a hell of a palaver. That is that because is. 
Sorry, what's it? <laughs> That's what a palaver. Um, because Sergeant has had a couple of pretty big injuries. Mm-hmm. And I think it's those injuries that are going to keep him at Norwich for mm. at least one more season. I, I, I just think so. I think with Gabby, I'm sorry to say it, I think we should be... I think he's off. Uh, I, I, look, I, I think we're lucky that he's humble, he loves it here, he loves living here, his family is settled. But, he, let's be honest, he's a Champions League player in Norwich City pyjamas at the moment. And we, <laughs> it's going to be so difficult to keep a player of that quality putting up the numbers that he put up last season in the fluctuating turbulent yeah. you know, results and performances that we had so I think that's going to be really, really tough the one that we're not talking about of course which was rumoured this week so it'd be interesting to get your thoughts on this Leon Kenny McLean was rumoured to go to Rangers, Rangers. Yeah. that seems to be every summer we actually asked him on the on the podcast about the Rangers links of course he had to it is literally it down, every but, summer this link comes but, yeah. but, but he is a Rangers fan so, so, so Leon what's your take it, would you cash in on Kenny McLean now? He is contracted to until 2026, or would you keep him? I think you've got to keep him. Because, I, th- like, I mean, there's a reason he was player of the season last year. Mm. And he's someone you can rely on. Like, someone when you need someone to dig in and you can need to fill mm. in at the back. You can slot him. Like, he played a lot of centre-half, was he playing in something? Yeah, yeah he played everywhere, That's what didn't I mean. He? he can just play anywhere. And you can always rely on him. And you know yeah. he's going to put a shift in. Yes. And I think he's underrated, really. I mean, in terms of other teams. Mm. Like, you know, everyone's talking about yeah. your Sarahs, your Sergeants, your Rose. I think, you know, people are watching week in, week out. That's why he was... He's consistently season. putting in a minimum of 8 out of 10 every yeah. single game. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, uh, the thing I would say... I'm just playing devil's advocate with you, Leon, here. Because I'm on, I'm on Leon's side of the fence, right? Mm. Um, still underrated. So bloody consistent. Integral to the way we play. A crucial player. A captain. Really a, a proper good, mm. uh, consistent quality player to have. The only issue is that maybe we, we need to put in the room here is... If we don't sell him this summer, are we going to get the same sort of value next summer? And if Kenny, I don't, and I, by the way, I don't, I'm not speaking from, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, but I'm just, I'm trying to think cynically about this. I'm trying to maybe get my David McNally head on here. I'm thinking, you know, is this a Bradley Johnson type moment where we're going to sell a more experienced player whilst he's contracted with, so we can get a decent chunk? I don't want Kenny to leave. I love Kenny. Um, I think for the sake of a couple of million quid, I mean, realistically, what are Rangers going to pay for Kenny? Well, this is my point. Have Rangers got that much money? Four million quid, something like that. I think for the... But he's worth more than four million. He absolutely is. This this is what I mean. We, you know, I think Kenny brings a lot to the side. Yes. Um, I think with a new head coach coming in, it's important to keep these types of characters around the dressing room. There's there's going to be natural churn, right? So you need to be able to keep some of these proper guys in, in the dressing room that have been there, yeah. done yeah. it before, been around Norwich, know the know the value. So look, I think it's a natural, it's a lazy link, isn't it? Mm. He may well go to Rangers and if mm. he does then, then the, the absolute best of luck. McLean and Cantwell linking up again. Yeah. Um, I think he's one that, that we have to keep hold of. Mm. So you think Sargent's the most important to yeah. keep. You're going Sarah or you think he's the most likely to go? I agree with Leon. Well, I think Sargent's the one that we need to keep hold of. Well, I, I, I think, I think Sarah, Sarah's the man, mm. but you can't keep, you can't, you, you can't keep a player of that quality after having the season that we've had. Mm. You, you just can't. If someone rocks up with is the it, right is money, it, is you it just a can't. Wendy, no is it a type where you go? Well, give for, us one more oh, season. Oh, absolutely. For me, I'm, I'm selling more of. What's your line in your song? Dealey's pies. What, <laughs> on, what's the song? Uh, what? Uh, Delia's pies at Norwich ground. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, All right. Sell more Delia's pies at the Norwich ground <laughs> to keep hold of Sarah. To keep hold of Sarah, right. but I just can't see it happening. Who's your player to keep? Sergeant, absolutely, Sergeant. Mm. Do you think if we lose Sarah, that makes as much of an impact on on the team as what it does if we lose Sergeant? Well, I think it's a huge loss. It is, still, of the only thing I would say is, and I'm putting this out to the to the watchers and the listeners here. I wonder whether they would put, they would see signs maybe as a maybe would they put him in Sarah's role? I, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I'm just thinking in terms of a player that's technical, that can shoot from distance, that can that can strike from long. I, maybe that's what they're thinking. I, I don't. I don't, again. I don't know. But I think it's, a, it's an think, issue. It's a big issue with, with Sergeant. Is strike is a traditionally a lot harder to replace Leon like got that. it bang on it's so, like a, a player of the quality of Sergeant in the championship um, 
you know, a proper, mm. proper classic number nine. We, we we need to keep him. We haven't discussed um, the three lions. We obviously still need about to McLean. He's he's, uh, he's home early. Um, well done to Scotland once again, getting knocked out in the group stages. Um, that's as that's as predictable as McLean getting linked to Rangers. Um, <laughs> we can't be too cocky though, because England yeah. uh, scraped the nil-nil draw with Slovenia. Yeah. Uh, but, but we're still top of the. You're group, one of you? these that you get very very excited about national tournaments, don't you? Well. How dare you? How you dare you? you? You're so unpatriotic. No, no, I, of Who course. do you think you are? I love my country. Why don't, no, you don't I love just... your country. <laughs> well, you, if you love your country, why would you ask me that question? He loves Yarmouth. Yes, I get excited. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if Yarmouth had an international side, he'd be, he'd be there. Well, Yarmouth would like go further that, than He'd Scott. be like that Sheffield. Is it the Sheffield Wednesday, is it like the Sheffield Wednesday bloke? Or that Newcastle bloke who's oh, yeah, there yeah. at the top off of all the tattoos yeah. going, Yarmouth. Um, what's my point here? Um, yeah, why wouldn't I be... Passionate well, how's it, how's it gone so My far? country in a major stayed, tournament. Yes. Excited? No. <laughs> I think we are scraping through this um, like a coal bag of shit, and I think we're very fortunate to end up top of the group. And I and I think that if there'd been even just one more quality side, we would have been in a whole load of trouble. Mm. A whole load of trouble. You've been down at the at the Norwich Fan Park. Yeah. Um, what's the mood been like down there from fellow England fans? After a nil nil against Slavia. Slavia. It's been a right palaver. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's been, um, yeah, I mean, the frustration, the frustration is just for everyone. It's just the same old, same old. And that's the thing. It, it's predictable. Yeah. Like, what did we, but what we did we to, expect? But no, but I'll tell you what we expected. <laughs> We've got we uh, this team mm. is so ridiculously talented. Never won anything. I don't give a shit. This is the time to win something. We've knocked on the door in the last two competitions. We've knocked on the door. Mm. Right. It's now time to fucking walk through the door. And I cannot believe a side that's got Bellingham, that's got Kane. I, mean, I could go on and on and on. Like it, it's ridiculous. Have we got almost too too much talent? Neil? I think for it to work, I think you do have to leave some of them out mm. because. He's just trying. It's like all the best players. Like it doesn't mean they're all going to work. It's, yeah, it's as a you just throw them all in. That's like that's why Pep is so good because City will play a game and De Bruyne will be left out. Pep Roulette. Then Foden will be left out. Yes. And then he'll make massive calls. Yes. Like, you know, I think he left Sterling out of the Champions League final when he'd been playing. Yes. Or so. so like all these things that he does is like. So what's your take then? Are you starting Cole Palmer? Anthony Gordon and Maynou in the next game? Are you starting um, all three? Or? I would... Pr- I think you either start Bellingham or Foden. I, and then I've, You're dropping Bellingham, no. potentially? Well, I've, they were I've, saying on ITV last night that maybe... maybe I probably Bellingham. would start... He's been rubbish the last The last two he hasn't you been can't drop. You I probably can't would drop. start Bellingham and I'd probably drop Foden. And then yeah. I think if you're going to bring Foden on, you, p- you put him in the role that he plays for City, yeah. which is yes. that role, basically. I agree. Um, I agree. And I would probably start Palmer on yeah. the left. He looked great actually when he, he came did. against. And Slovenia. I think Saka's been okay. Yeah, no, I do too. I do too. But I think you're right, Leon. Like Southgate's got to make some big calls now. Um, but look, ultimately, we've ended up top of the group by hook or by crook. I don't so know how? That's bizarre. Though. Well, I know how. Well, of course you know how. Because the rest of them are all fucking shit, aren't they? <laughs> we have to They're be. If we're top of the. And I'm not having I can't get Denmark my head around. Quality side. No, they're not. They're not. No, Barton Vets would give them a good game. <laughs> Hoiberg looked like prime. He ran the show. Yeah. I know. Just because we made him look good. <laughs> your boys, your standards are on the floor, honestly. Um, let's get into some Twitter questions. Yes, let's. How impressed have you boys been? God, it's, do you know what it is? It's because I'm sitting next to Leon Mallet. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to do everything in a laugh. <laughs> and I'm really sorry to Leon. It's very warm in here. It We've is, hit yeah. The, the, it's the, hot. The, the only day mm. that has been warm this year. How so impressed have right. you boys been with how the Hoff has handled himself in his opening presser when he was joined by Napa? He's a tongue twister. I personally got a little excited. I think DRG got turned on. Leon, when you've watched the press conferences, when you've heard what Johannes has said... Is it getting you going? Are you excited? Or is yeah. it all about doing the talking on the pitch? Uh, a bit of both. But I think, yeah, I mean, I can't remember ever looking at a manager at the start and thinking that this is going to be awful. They all know what to say, don't they? Mm. But, um, but yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, quite, I'm, ex- I'm just excited that he's younger than, I think, is he the youngest manager we've ever Yes. Uh, oh, good Probably quick. close, isn't oh, he's it? Got yeah. to be, I isn't reckon it? Alex Neal would have been around that age. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. But very, I good think he's call. a third youngest. Yeah, thought about that. yeah but I th- I, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. I think he'll be good, like for 
so I think all of the players will relate to him a little, a little yes, bit more as well. Yes, because he is younger. And yeah, I like that he's he's not scared to use the young players as yes. well. Yes. So. What I've been having a lot of fun with with opposition fans who've obviously never heard of him before, and they go, oh, "I've seen you've got you know Norwich have got a new manager." I've been bigging him up so much. Why have you been doing <laughs> so that? much? Why best <laughs> managers who ever come out of Denmark? Really exciting, <laughs> and they're all going, "Oh my god!" Oh, so you're like scaring them? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah is that not going to come? Is probably. That, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> they're just going to. Uh, yeah, okay. I th- I'd rather do that than go. Oh, you know. Risky, risky I think I, th- I think we need like look. I'm I'm so pleased that. He is conducting himself how he is. Mm-hmm. The things that Johannes is saying and how he's saying them is really encouraging. I think just we need to be really careful with our expectations. And I'm saying this publicly so people hold me accountable to this. I well. can guarantee if we beat Oxford 1-0 on the opening day, <laughs> you are not going to be careful with I'll have the Denmark flag out <laughs> saying, up oh, the Danish destroyer. And, yeah, but, yeah, but we should be beating Oxford regardless. We should be beating Oxford if, if you're the manager. What did you just say? Be careful with your expectations. You're going against. No, 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 no. no. You're this going is different. No, your no, own right. Advice. Okay, no, no, right. Let me explain to you the difference between expectations and basic standards for our football club. Okay, <laughs> it's a big difference. I'm just saying, I'm not expecting to, Johannes to come in and instantly turn us into a top two side. I think for me, it's going to be a, a, a it's going to be a bit of a stodgy transition season. What I would say, I don't know if you agree, Leon, I don't think the league looks as strong this season. The, the three teams coming down: yeah. Luton, Burnley. Mm. Burnley got a new manager yet? Yeah, no, they have. Uh, and um, Sheffield United yeah. doesn't give me as much, you know, fear as Leeds, yeah. Southampton, Leicester. For sure, they all. When you just hear them, they just sound like mm. they belong in the championship. <laughs> <laughs> really. but, 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 but Liam, would you say, although the teams coming down from the Premier League are weaker, do you not think we will be weaker too? Uh, maybe, maybe I not. I don't know. It's really difficult to tell. At the minute, I, I don't think it will be worse than last season. I don't. I, yeah, I think it has to be. It surely it's going to be better. Well, look, you're, you're the one being negative you know what? now. Sargent is not going to be hopefully injured for half of the season. That's very yes. true. And that was such a turning point of the season mm, last touch year. Touch wood. And if, if he stays true, fit... True, 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 and, true. And Barnes, or just one of them. Yeah. Because yeah. we, we had all of them out. So I think that will be a big factor. Mm, um, injuries. So hopefully the luck's on the side Kamara injuries. coming back. Brad Hill. Yes. Yeah. If, yeah. We, if we haven't won the league by March, I'll be disappointed. Yeah. I mm. really hope... I'll tell you what, I'll, put, I'll put this out there doors. I really hope Brad Hills gets game time. Mm. Um, I don't know I don't know whether they'll loan him out though, but I'm, I'm particularly passionate about Brad because he's a local lad, so fingers crossed as well. Um, this makes me giggle. Jonathan Parker. I'm so conflicted about our shirt sponsor. In one hand, I love the fact it's been it's been given to a local company. However, a part of me thinks it's a chance to bring in serious revenue, particularly in our situation. Surely someone bigger could have paid more. Leon, what's your thoughts on the on the on the new sponsorship saga and, and do you care? Does it matter? Uh, Blakely, I reckon you've worn a bit of Blakely in I time. haven't, yeah. No? No. Is that what we're running with? Yeah, yeah. Oh is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, okay. you need to. It's yeah. a really stylish brand. Yeah, no, I I, I I have heard about it. Um Maybe that's not why you've worn it, because you're you're wearing that's that the reason. instead. He's yeah. lived in his <laughs> <laughs> Um I don't know, I mean maybe they should get what a palaver on <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what the amount he's booked at the moment he'll be at the maybe, sponsor next season maybe maybe Blakeney can, maybe they could actually do yeah. a collab Ooh. yeah well my, my, my hot take and, and you're probably not going to like this I could not care less about the sponsorship people get you can tell that there's no news going on people get so uptight mm. yeah. about who the shirt sponsor's going to yeah. be I couldn't care less well I actually I'm siding with you. Oh, yeah, no, a little bit. I, I would, I would just go slightly, slightly more left than you, and that is that it does make me laugh because, of course, BK8 was an absolute shit show. You know, the, oh, hot, yeah, the hot dog, was, oh, the yeah. hot dog sucking saga, and all of that nonsense. God, like, it's an I remember absolute, that. It was an absolute nightmare, yeah, right? Back some dark. It was <laughs> awful, right? And of course, <laughs> Lotus local company looked good. People don't know the the numbers involved in Lotus and when that came in and what the deal looked like, so. For, for me, I don't. I was looking at social media, I was thinking, what a palaver. <laughs> Why are people getting so hell-bent uptight, mm. spun round around the sponsorship? Because it's not a gambling company, mm. it's a local company, mm. and the other thing which does piss off particularly the, the shirt fanatics is, does the logo look shit? And it's such a slick, stylish mm. logo. So for me, 
Stop moaning. But it's like it's you know, a great brand to be associated with. No one with. cares that when we won the league in 2020, 2021, there was yeah, dapper best interesting yeah. pointing to a wall. And it's always that one, isn't it? Of um, like ultimately, when Coleman's were the sponsor, did we did we spend more on Coleman's mustard? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, when we were sponsored by digital phones, you know, did we all go out and buy digital phones? No, we didn't. So I, I do side with you mostly on. Have that. you gone out and bought sort of hundreds of pounds worth of? I will now. be. Well, yeah. I will be. Best, yeah. best believe that. <laughs> um, let's. A lot. This. This was the reason I said that everyone's getting their knickers in a twist. A lot of the questions this week have been about the shirts boxes. There you go. Mm. And I'm like, if it's Coleman's or Blakely, yeah. I don't care. I'm just looking so, around at the shirts, but like, around us and this. Aviva have done well, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, they have. What about our flyby? Were you a fan of the old flyby number? That just that looks so wrong. <laughs> what, what would have been your first Norwich kit, Neil? Because I feel like uh, Lotus. Lotus, Lotus, yeah. Lotus, the first. The, Lotus, that yeah. my first kit was when we got promoted to the Premier League. Oh, oh, it's, oh, oh, is that the old um, the 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 dark green with the lions? Hux. Got a really highlight. funny story for you actually. Oh, come on. Regarding we this. love a funny story. So this was back in the day. If you know about Norwich and football, PDC. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this was when I first went in the PDC. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say this to you off camera. Someone told me that you were actually involved in the setup a little bit. Yeah. So come on. I've got a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So basically, PDC. So back in the day, I hate to tell you, I was a Man United fan as a kid. But you saw the light. It's fine. Exactly. You saw the light. Yeah. Because you did. David I'll give Beckham. You I fell in love with David Beckham. Man United was a team. Don't, okay. don't blame me for that. Anyway, so a couple of months in at PDC, and obviously I'm like. Thinking I'm gonna be like professional football, I'm living the dream. <laughs> and uh, then they have this summer tournament day, yeah. And uh, I get a, a phone call. I've been invited to this summer tournament, and and I, they said expect the letter. You're gonna get a letter come through. Mm -hmm. Well, this is when Norwich in the Premier League that season, and they said on this day we're gonna have the summer tournament in the morning, and then we're all gonna go to watch the Norwich match. And this match is going to be against Man United. Oh. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to go see Man United play. Oh. And this was when Ronaldo was there, yeah. Rooney, like... I know where you're going, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so anyway, I'm with all the Norwich lads, they're all Norwich fans, I'm the only United fan there, right? And we're right in, the, they put us in the corner, I remember it, because we were behind one of the posts. Uh, obviously, they started with Rooney on the bench, started with Ronaldo on the bench, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Then, who got the first one? Dean Ashton. Dean Ashton scores. Oosh! <laughs> Big Ed. All the um, all the Norwich Can you lads around me. Yeah. yeah, and one of the corners like behind. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and all the Norwich lads were all jumping over me. Right. And because I was such a heavy Man United fan, I can remember trying so hard not to cry. Because <laughs> like, I was only like eleven or something or twelve. And I right. And then to make it worse, right. The second goes in. Yeah. Right? Leon McKenzie. And everyone's jumping and then everyone finally stops celebrating, right? And then I just, I'm sat there just like, and I just feel, and I look and a bird shat on me. <laughs> <laughs> and then all, everyone was going, ah, 2 nil, and he's counting bird shit. And I was like, just trying so hard not to cry. Like, the worst day oh, ever. The worst day ever. Do you know what? Good. Yeah. Good. There I'm pleased go. that bird shat on you. You deserved I, it. I know, I know. How old were you? I look at How myself. old were you? 11. Good. Yeah. I'm pleased. That you're, I'm pleased. <laughs> but what I would say is, that, to emphasise with Leon, so are you, you are from almost near Yarmouth, aren't you, right? I'm in the middle. Okay. No, he's a Yarmouth boy. I mean, I'm, my postcode is NR. He's a Yarmouth. My phone number is 016. Yeah, but be honest. <laughs> That's like him. He claims he's in Yarmouth, but he's in bloody... Where do I pay my council tax to? Yarmouth Borough Council. Anyway, I'm actually... I'm, so, I'm trying to help you here. Okay, go on then. I, I'm, the whole... It's very well known that people from around Yarmouth, they tend to just be glory hunters temporarily, or mm -hmm. at least they stay with it. Mm -hmm. I, and do you know the thing that actually... I actually got in trouble at a family wedding recently. Um, because I've always slagged off my cousin because he's he's a Manchester United fan, and I'm like that's not really being a glory like, hunter. And I'm like, <laughs> well, well, no, but it was back <laughs> yeah. then. I said, look, Ryan, it's a joke. And then Ryan went, well, have, no, 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 it's because it's because my it's because my dad, which which and that that excuse does my head in. And so do you know what I said? Like I say to everyone, I go, well, your dad's a joke as well, <laughs> right? But the dad the dad was there, yeah. <laughs> so oh. I had to look him in the eye and say, yeah, well, it's a joke. Why do you support Manchester United? Because you're a glory hunter too. So I'm pleased you saw the light. Well yeah. done. Was that the day that you changed? Uh, that to no, not not quite. No, I will tell you when I Even really the bird changed. Bird shot on you. 
I know. I should have seen the light then. Yeah. Canary. So when did you change? Come on. Um, I changed when we was in League One. Right. What, what a weird time to go. You know what? I'll tell you why. That's actually quite impressive. Very cheap half season tickets were on sale. Uh, right? Yeah. And I thought, mm, let's go for it. To be fair, and we were talking about this last week, that's a great point because I started going. I could. That was the pit, sort of League One. I could start going like with my mates. Yeah. And, like, we'd get dropped off and we'd go on yeah. our own. And I, I remember that being really cheap to go yeah. to kid then. Yeah. And, that's, so, and that's what's tough now. Kids going to games. You've got to spend like 40 well, years against yeah. like Bolton or something. Some yeah. games are a pound then. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So many games. And, so we need to do more of that. But this is a point that we've spoken about half time. And all joking apart, let's take Leon as a case study, okay? A young guy, unfortunately, he's been persuaded to support one of those plastic, soulless, greedy six clubs in the in the Varkley's Premier League, right? But actually, if you incentivise young supporters in, they then don't make that terrible, terrible mistake, and they support their local team. Yeah. Um, I, th- I think it's a great thing to do. And actually, just I'm, I'm so jealous of both of you boys, because if you started watching Norwich in League One, you missed Grant, mm. <laughs> Rhoda... You missed some really, really shit years. <laughs> so congratulations. Yeah. And, but when, when, you, when, when you start following Norwich in League One, the, the only way is up. Well, you yeah. hope the only way yeah. is up, but at yeah. the time it didn't yeah. feel like that. No. It, that was a fun time. That was yeah, a very actually fun time. It was, because when we really got into form that season, we just started oh, turning everyone over. Unbeatable. Yeah, Such an exciting class. period of football. I'll tell you something else exciting. This statement from Luke Maddox. Let's quickly see what Luke... Oh no, he's not got a bio, but he looks like a good lad. Anyway, he says, Statement, 100 points, 100 goals. Let's get this chant going. Stone Roses, Waterfall. Do you know that song? Stone Roses, Waterfall? Um, I wouldn't be able to no, okay. it. Anyway, here are the lyrics. Johannes at the wheel, oh. tell me how does it feel? We've, We've got, got Stacey, Stacey Cordoba and Rowe, Josh Sargent can't stop scoring ah. goals, yeah. we're going up. I, call, yeah, I like it. Right. Cool. I, I feel like there's going to be some very good chance uh, for, for Cordoba this uh, this season. I feel like he's the man that people are going to really start loving. Well, Oliver Suter says the Panama Prince. Oh, <laughs> oh that's class. The Panama Prince. Oh, that. Hang on, who's, who said that? Oliver Suter. Oliver Suter. <laughs> that is now his new nickname. The Panama Prince. He is a... No, the Prince, the, the Prince of Panama. That is it. He's a unit, isn't he? He's, he's an absolute he is. Could you imagine coming up against no, I Jose couldn't. Cordoba? He, he gives me sort of Mitchell Dykes vibes. Oh, he said Mitchell Dykes. I'm so really glad you said that. Said that. Yeah. Just, he's going to smash it. He doesn't and run around people. Through them. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Good. Yeah. And, and, and I saw some reviews. Like, someone was like, oh, he's, he's a bit ill disciplined. Good. Mm. Good. Yeah. Good. That's what I bloody want. I want to see that all I care about, and I, and I mean this, right? I want, if, if nothing comes out the first game and we draw it, as long as Jose Cordova absolutely smashes through yeah. an Oxford player, I'm sorry. I think there mm. might be a bit more shit house really there to get my bands. Mm. Nice. No, I hope so. I, we yeah. need a bit more. Of we that. do. We've the been too nice. Nice Norwich. The Prince of Nasty Norwich. The Prince of Panama. I think it was. Was it Holty was on earlier? He was going. We're still too nice. Mm. You know, teams can come. Yeah. Leeds away, the perfect example. Playoff mm. semi, playoff semi final, second leg. Oh. We just rolled over. Mm. You won't get that with the Prince of Panama. I love the Prince <laughs> of Panama. That's so good. That is so good. Um, great. Have we answered that? Well, question? we were talking about kits. Do you want to quickly show our the, the, this new thing? Oh yes. So. We, we we need to show this off, Leon. I'll, I'll get you one of these, mate. They're um, they the, the 1990s. I mean, that's a great kit, isn't it? Oh, yeah, UA the old Egg and Crest classic. Um, these are on sale now. We'll link them in the description. They are very cool. People are going to absolutely love these. Um, and we've also got a signed one from Chris Sutton no. that we'll be giving away. Good um, So if you want one of these um, 3D metal shirt kits, I've got one on yeah. display at home, and I can't stop looking at it. Um, we'll link that in That's the, the kind of thing that you put on your mantelpiece. That is cool. You get rid of the picture of your gran and you put, yeah. you yeah. put that up instead. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. And oh, the other thing, you can it comes with letters and numbers so you can personalise it. So we'll, no. get, we'll get an East Anglian boy. Oh. There you go. Number nine, <laughs> you're probably a number nine, aren't you? Yeah, I'll take that. Tricky little seven. Yeah, maybe a seven. Yeah, Love there that. Go. Um, there we go. I think that's probably the questions. Um, Done. Yeah. We feeling confident? I just saw a question about Sydney Van Hooyd on. I can't read that out. Um, <laughs> look, it's it's pre season. I think now we need to brace ourselves. Mm-hmm. We're going to lose some players, but let's you know not create a hull of a palaver. Let's calm down and let's let Ben Napper 
sign if we imagine if we just sign more Cordobas, just big oh, yeah. big princes of Panama. Like, <laughs> oh, God, let's um let's get an, a very, very early season prediction. Where are we finishing, Leon, next season? Anywhere below sixth and you're not allowed to say it. I think we're gonna finish sixth again. Sixth again. I think that's really sensible. You think that's sensible? I yeah. think that's sensible and fair play. Yeah, I think I think playoffs should be the aim. I think we will get the playoffs. But I think it will be more justified this time mm. because of how much transition there needs to be. Yeah, and I don't think it was because it felt like we scraped it last season. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this time. Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah. And, yeah, it is weird looking back on last season with how dire it felt at so many mm. periods, and still we got in the playoffs. And yeah. it was still so disappointing. Mm, yeah. yeah, it was it funny, was really isn't it? Look, like new optimism, new hope. Johannes Hoff threw up at the wheel. Let's go, baby. So Leon's predicted Norwich. Where are England? Um, how are England faring in the Euros? Oh, well, it all depends on who we get in the round of sixteen, which at time of filming is not confirmed. Mm. Um, it's not looking good, is it? <laughs> as much as I want to say it's coming home, <laughs> let's be honest. If we rock up to against any quality side playing like we've played it's going to be like a Norwich versus Leeds type situation isn't oh, it yeah. yeah so look, I'm, I'm not confident in fact I don't even want to predict look let's see what we can do I really hope that the lads can pull off something special but do I believe no I don't <laughs> can we go all the way on draws and win every game on penalties I don't I don't hate that <laughs> but, yeah, but, but do you know Croatia what? did that, that there's, a lot to be said, there's a lot to be said about clean sheets and things in tournaments yeah. like it is Southgate is just he is He's just playing tournaments, isn't he? Like he's not playing. Do, do you know what I mean? Well, and the other and the other way of looking at it, it is, feels strategical. Mm. Every team we've come up against so far have, have put a really low block, eight at the back, and that is diff. I know we've fair, been dire, fair. but it is difficult to break down. If, and we, if we came up against the France, who were a bit more lively, hang on, that's a bad example. Maybe give we'll us a different example. Get- Austria. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's a bad example as well. Okay. But I'm running I, I, get, out. I get your point. In a knockout situation where teams go at us, Leon, mm-hmm. we're going to hurt them, aren't we? Well, yeah, I'd, you'd think so. When you've really got to go for it, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, all we need. To, I think when we, if we get a goal and we then start building on that, mm. because we can't even put the ball in the net. That's the minute. concern. Building on a lead. Yeah. Because if not, we sit yeah. back. Yeah. That's like. Yeah. I don't know. Don't forget to buy your Borja Signs tees. Links in the description. Don't forget to listen to East Anglian Boy and... The album coming soon. No, no, no. What's the England tune? Let's be having you. Oh, yeah. The Let's England tune. Having... If you're particularly patriotic, get in. Maybe that's what I need more of. I need to stop listening to East Anglian Boy for the time <laughs> being. Let's be having you. Yeah. Anyway, That'll get me thanks, out. Leon. Cheers, mate. Thanks Great for having me, boys. Thanks nice for watching, one. everyone. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you all very soon. Come on, England! Bye-bye. <laughs>